Today, I am going to plant an herb spiral, but it's not gonna quite be a spiral yet. My long-term plan is a little different than what I'm doing today, but today is just the start of it. So I have this area that I've added compost in a circle for a raised bed, and it's gonna be a spiral herb garden long-term, but right now I don't have the time or the energy to move the rocks that I wanna use to make it more spiral-like. So I'm going to go ahead and plant the stuff that I have already to plant and I'm going to put some seeds in as well and maybe next year or the year after I'll be able to move all the stones in and I'll just transplant the perennials in, into the shape that I want. So for now we're going with the medicine wheel, the north, south, east, west um, with our different types of thyme and oregano. They have the same growth pattern. Then in the center, my very sad looking rosemary, I swear it's not dead, it's still alive, but we have been in a drought and it got uh, put somewhere where I wasn't watering. So it, it, it skipped a few days and almost died, but it's alive, the roots are alive. We'll plant it and it will bounce back. And we're gonna do sage, lavender, and lemongrass. These are ones I rooted from the market. So I'm just gonna stick those in here as well and then do some basil in between from seed. for me. Oh, thanks. Come over here. Okay. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pull it a little bit deeper. And then you put it in. Okay. Push it down. I didn't cover it. Cover it up. Good job. What? You want to put it this one? Uh, no. Okay. You don't want to do this one? Yeah, I don't. This is a cool fat one. You want to put it in? All right, doesn't look like much now, but we've got basil seed in between all of these. That rosemary is going to recover. Those lemongrass are going to root into the soil. They've been rooted in water and look so much better. I'll be giving it a good drink of water every day, morning and night during this heat. But next week we're supposed to have 40% chance of rain on several days so i'm really hoping that we do get the expected rain because we are in a drought worst time to be planting a garden but like one of the saying goes the best time to plant a tree is now i have to get these things planted now i just this is the time i have to plant and i have to do it and if i don't do it now it's not going to happen so i will work extra hard to get it all done so my long-term plan is to put the bigger rocks around the outside and then start cutting in a spiral shape so that there's just one plant at the top and plants going down in a spiral shape with the rocks. But the rocks that I want to use are buried in some blackberry bramble that's going to be painful to remove so might be better to do that in the winter so we'll see i always like to encourage people to do what they can when they can do it whether it's planting something pruning something or what have you if that's the only time you have available to do it then 
by all means do it. Yes, there's premium times to do things. Yes, there's ideal ways to do things. But sometimes you just have to get her done. And that's what we're doing. Because having fresh herbs in the kitchen makes all the difference in the world. The flavor is intense and amazing. And we do all of our home cooking anyway. So having fresh herbs to use is something I've always liked. And we just haven't been able to establish a good herb garden yet here. Um, the kids planted one a few years ago. But it took over with the mint and the bee balm. So they you can't find the thyme and oregano and rosemary that was in there so this is this is going to be our new herb garden that we can just walk out to the garden and harvest when we're cooking a meal so if you like this idea follow along for more updates and this winter when we build it up even more i'll show you it again